Clark from tradingform.com and welcome to this video on how to calculate and trade with the TSF indicator in Excel. In this video I'm going to have a look at how we can use Excel to calculate the TSF indicator and then I'm going to have a look at what use this indicator is for us as traders. In other words, how it has performed in the past using real historic data. Before I start the calculation, I'd just like to make you aware that there is further information below this video, including links to the related article and other resources. So how do we calculate the TSF in Excel? Well, it's actually quite straightforward. And first of all, I'm just going to do it in this column here. And you can see that I'm using a spreadsheet here. I've already got some historical data in here. This is the GBP USD Forex pair. And I'm going to calculate the TSF using this data. So the first thing that we need is a number of periods, a number of look back periods, and how far we're going to look forward. TSF stands for Time Series Forecast and the indicator is trying to predict what will happen. It's a forecast of what will happen in the future. So I'm going to start it off with an initial forecast period of one. The next thing we need is a series from 0 to 19 and these are our 20 values that we're going to use as part of the calculation. Now Excel, I said this is quite straightforward to do, Excel has even got an inbuilt function called equals forecast which does exactly what we want it to do and the way we set up this function is we add a number of look back periods to how far we want to look forward and I'm pressing F4 here which means that these cells become absolute reference cells and then we want to subtract 1. Now the reason we do this is because our series of 20 values starts from 0. Okay, the next thing we need to do is highlight the data that we want to use the indicator on, which in this case is the closing prices. So we go back through 20 periods and then finally we want to highlight our series and again there are 20 periods this time again I'm going to use the F4 function to make sure this becomes a fixed reference I'm going to close the brackets and I'm going to press enter you can see we've calculated the first value of the TSF indicator now if I want to apply this to the cells below I just double click here and it's automatically copied down the formula to all the cells below. Now, so we have the TSF. We've got it into our Excel spreadsheet here. What use is it to us? Well, the spreadsheet I've got open here is a trade-informed backtest spreadsheet. And this is a way that we can use, that anybody can use to test trading strategies using historical data. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take these two variables that we've already just just entered them. I'm going to take them over here to our results tab. I'm going to put in some titles here. So You can see here I put in some titles and we now have control over these. We can alter them and you can see it affects the results. Now I said I'm going to look at what use this indicator is for us as traders and to do that I've just tested a very simple, uh, simple trading strategy and all I'm looking to do is to buy when the price closes above the TSF indicator and to sell when it closes below. 
And what we're trying to do in this strategy is very simply keep on top of the trend. Look when we have changes in the direction of the trend and trade in that direction. So that's all I'm doing here. And I've programmed it very simply here using this backtest spreadsheet. And you can see I have some results here. First thing I always look at when I'm looking at my results is what does the capital graph look like? And we can see that over this time period, and this is approximately eight years worth of data, it's looking okay. It's pointing upwards most of the time. If we look at the results here, you can see that we've got a percentage of winning trades lower than 50%, which is not surprising at all when we're looking at a trend following strategy. Price is very often whipsawed up and down. However, what we can also see is that our average winning trade is not far off twice as high as our average losing trade our average losing trade which means that overall we still have a nice net profit over this time period now very quickly we can do all sorts of things in this spreadsheet first thing i want to have a look at what happens if we try to look further into the future so we extend our linear regression line further into the future and we can see quite nicely that the further I extend it into the future, the less <coughs> reliable it becomes as an indicator. So I'm going to stick with one for the time period. We can put in profit targets, stop losses, trailing stops. We can use these to smooth off our results. And we can see that little changes like this can make a greater amount of profitability for this strategy. Okay, so I hope you found this a useful video. We've looked at the TSF indicator, how to calculate it in Excel, and we've looked at some of the results. If you're looking for more videos about trading strategies, I do have a link on the screen at the moment to a playlist where we have lots of different videos highlighting lots of different types of trading strategies. If you'd like more information about trading the financial markets and in particular using Excel to calculate trading strategies and backtest them, please go to www.tradeinformed.com.